Hey people, it's a beautiful day outside. I thought I'd uh, just like to talk about a few things that have happened in my life and probably a lot of other people's lives. This is my house. Uh, been living here for almost my whole life. Um, and I kind of want to make a video about what I think is going on with the world today. Um, see, it started when I was a kid. I was going to nativity uh, grade school and it was just up the block so I would just walk like I am right now and I would just walk and make it all the way up there and just start listening to the teachers um, and the strange thing was after a while when I started going through puberty um, I had this strange feeling that somebody was calling me gay or a homosexual um, and I had no idea what I was feeling that for you know why why was that going on and um, later on in high school some people thought it was a joke like all oh, this guy's gay uh, and he's a really cool gay guy right now it's not like I hate gay people but I was like where's this rumor where's this coming from you know some people heard that I kind of was into that and I'm not I don't like that and so my high school that I went to called Creighton Durham Hall uh, it was pretty interesting experience but um, I that's that's when I really started getting into like music and drugs uh, and um, I guess I was really into uh, just having fun with my friends that I learned to uh, talk to. Um, so I'm gonna cross, go across the street here. This is Fairview. And uh, so high school was all right. There, were, there was still a rumor that Diego was kind of like a homo or something. Uh, people didn't really know what was up. Like, oh yeah, maybe he is. I don't know, who cares, right? But it kind of affected me it, it, because somebody, some strange idea kept popping into my head that I was gay. So then I went to college at University of Eau Claire in Wisconsin. And that's where I really had it with that. Because, you know, what is this guy doing just like watching porn all the time in the dorm room? And I was like, I don't know. It's like I just get the weird feeling if I don't like see women, I won't. I won't like who I am. And then later on, dur this was during the uh, Obama, Obama and uh, and uh, Cheney, uh, the old that old guy, Obama and Dick Cheney was it or Mc McLean? No, M McLean. Yeah, that was it. Obama and McCain, and Obama won. And so, um, I had to drop out of college because all it was doing was I was just in the dorm, like, 
getting high off marijuana and like just playing guitar all the time. I must have just thought that, you know, I, I'm not going to make it up here because something strange is going on. So I was like, what the heck is wrong? Like, I'm not getting enough sleep. Like, I feel strange things about people talking around me. Some of them, like, were, like, strange, uh, like, words were coming out of people's mouths or my mouth. But, like, after I dropped out of college, uh, my mom and dad were like, well, Diego, you just went from being gay now to having schizophrenia. Well, how, how do I just have schizophrenia? Well, you kind of went to the psychiatrist at Eau Claire and said, you know, you hear voices. And I was like, yeah, but you don't get what I mean. Like, this is my voice. You are hearing my voice right now. This is what I meant. Like, this is my voice, right? And so, I don't realize telepathically what was going on, but later I found out that somebody tried to set up uh, the pl a place where they would tell the population that has no idea what's going on, they would tell them that that this guy named Diego hears things that aren't real or he feels things and I was like what the heck so eventually I got the idea that somebody was behind it trying to uh, get enough people to think crazy things about about me and uh, I think uh, a lot of it had to do in a different country in Russia I think where they had, they had big plans to take over the world and create a new world order where nobody gets what the heck's going on with anything as long as the cars keep rolling, the money keeps flowing, and the people keep sleeping. I don't know but look here's a building I want to show you this building what is it this is a government building uh, where if you go in there you might not come out how did I figure this out because when I applied for a job the uh, undercover FBI agent was like well you don't want to go to those places do you it's like what are they she wouldn't really tell me but I found out there's another one too on 1717 uh, University 1717 University you can look that up it's a it's got black tinted windows you don't know what's what it is it's a building there to, uh, they have what's called a frequency generator and you know what they do with it they'll connect it to you wirelessly and they'll increase your heart rate until you have a heart attack and that's what they are kinda doing right here at that building that that's by my house and um, I've never r risked going in there because maybe that crazy operation, hit operation, you know, they might just as well get me in there and put me down with what I'm talking about, the frequency generator. So, uh, frequency generators are being used in mass amounts to lie to the population. And the way they do that is they use signals 
uh, that cross over other signals that you can't see unless you got those special crystal uh, glasses. But, you know, there's all these networks that you can't see over, over your house. They're pretty much invisible unless you see them with these crystal uh, goggles or glasses. Yeah, you can make lens out of crystals, if you didn't know. Um, you can also use uh, black crystals, those dark black crystals. You can use those and um, you can kind of see things like with x-rays. These are black crystals. I don't know if you ever heard of black crystals. Uh, they don't have too many of them because... You know, a long time ago, and I'm talking like before Jesus, right? There was uh, a person named Lucifer, and you know, he lived in a different reality. This guy named Lucifer, and a few others uh, that lived in these tile florals, right? Well, one time he split ways with Azul, Max, uh, Lucifer, and I forget the, the other guy. There were four guys. And he decided he was going to split up and they were going to go 50-50 and he was going to create a different reality below the vertial zones. Now the vertial zones are the universes, but they're actually called vertial zones. So there's eight vertical zones, okay? And then there's tile florals. Uh, and we are in the blue tile florals. And then after the blue tile florals, there's over oval table rings. Uh, they're, they're rings on a table, it's really, and we're inside that? That's ridiculous. And it just keeps getting more complicated as you go up. You know, eventually you get to the point where all I can think about is like one linear thought that's either white or black or colorful or gray. But then uh, this guy named Lucifer, right? So he splits up and he creates a different reality under the vertical zones. Those are the universes. They're called vertical zones. And he created what we know as hell. This guy named Lucifer. Now a lot of people after they die and they go to the afterlife because the spirit comes out of your body when you die. Um, so then you're in the fourth dimension and then some people think, okay, well, I'll go to hell, you know, cause it's, it, you can have a lot of fun there, I guess. You know, if you have, if you're in the right mind or you, you have your, your spirit that kind of feels like, you know, I don't need to go to the tile florals, which is also, we consider a haven for ent entities. We are entities, people. We are end. So after you decide that, you can just you can just be in the fourth dimension until uh, what is called the end or the and apocalypse of time. Eventually, there's going to be an apocalypse. Yeah, and it's kind of scary, right? But if you know what the reasons are and what you can imagine as what everybody thinks about or does or says because everyone has a reason to say or to think or do stuff. My reason is basically because when I found out how corrupted things were on this planet I thought, well, what, what the heck? Why is everything so, so, like, messed up with 
the way people talk and you know kill and then suffer and die tortured I mean there's been a lot of messed up crap people have done you know like take 9-11 you remember two plane uh, the planes right well guess what they decided the federal government that they would get some people to think that if you do this you will go to hell and feel happy and I said yeah you, you, you could say well I'll just stand for an evil purpose if I just do an evil thing I'll get to go to hell and be um, rejoiced accepted as oh yeah the people that do that get to go to hell for free but you might find it different in the fourth dimension I mean you can still kind of repro you can't have a kid in the fourth dimension but you can still you know maintain a sexual function and then in your brain you can still think stuff Componentially, because reality is made up of components and compartments. A lot. There's a lot of components and a lot of compartments. Um, and you can access those via imagination. Uh, have you ever heard of the chakras? There's these chakras. There's 24 chakras. I even made a track on that. And to open a chakra, you have to use your ears because it enters your your cortex of your cr your cranium through the ear canal. And to do that, you have to play certain notes. Um, and there's special ways to do it. But, um, you know, after you hear chakras, it's strange. Like these cars going by, they'll be like, because the wheels are spinning and it goes like it's really interesting like the way that chakras feel when you open them it it's kind of like it makes your spine colorful it kind of colors your spine although it's more of a fourth dimensional to twelfth dimensional thing but, so these evil politicians that are lying to everybody, he kind of set this up so that I was like mentally ill. And you know, they just decided we were going to get this guy to take antipsychotics. Well, did I like that? No, not really. I tried it once. I didn't like it. And so then they kept giving me a different one. Okay. A different one. Uh, let us see. Well, I guess I'll give it a go. So he gave me a different one. And I didn't like it. I had a problem where there, you, you're, you wouldn't be able to move your neck or your tongue or your, your feet. Oh, okay. We'll try a different one. Okay. So here's the third one. And I can name them too. Geodon, Latuda, Abilify, Zyprexa, Clazaril. Can't remember if there's that. Oh, Haldol and Risperdal. I've taken all those. That's how, I, I'm not kidding. Like, if you come to my house, you'll see antipsychotics in the kitchen. That's, I'll say it. I've tried Geodon, Abilify, Zyprexa, Clazaril, Haldol. Risperdal, Latuda. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We tried all of them. And they're not doing anything for me. And nobody likes to take them. You know, what are they being used for? You know, I just didn't quite understand. I mean, I understand people have feelings, right? About life. Because life is really complicated. And parts of it don't make sense. Because, you know, some things just won't make sense to us because we're really small compared to a lot of things and you know very confusing times you know that have gone by just because nobody 
would like to, you know, when I get together with some of these men, social groups, you know, we talk about the reasons why some of this stuff, you know, has to be said about, you know, th uh, situations or not. Because you can't just tell somebody to be a schizophrenic, right? You can't just say that and have people believe that. That's wrong of you. And so all those people involved in that, after they told me that I had to take those pills, then they go on to blocking cerebral spinal fluid in my spine and in my uh, ventricles up here. Now you can't see the signal, but there's, there's a signal over my head and it's there and it's blocking the cerebral spinal fluid function. And you know what happens then? My brain starts to sag slowly into itself and my cerebellum starts to tear in half. I'm not kidding. They're using that with a receptor, a CNS receptor panel. They're, those, and those are pretty big uh, devices. There's all these, uh, they use crystals and they can connect to your spine and stop the flow of fluid. They can also create like a muscle to to move like if I was just standing still. Like they can they can make your your hand move like that, you know? Like twitch. They essentially they can control almost every function in your body. You know, and and the problem with that, right? It's really cool to, to do that. But you know what? They're not using it for any benefit show society uh, communal equation they're just trying to technosis try to use technosis technically illusionize everybody so that nobody gets this technology you know another technology they have have you ever heard of a dematerializer you can dematerialize synthetics and aesthetics or also as artificial one and two and you can dematerialize it from one area to another if you have a strong enough signal so essentially if I wanted to dematerialize a pill right like uh, antipsychotic pill I could dematerialize it into your CNS fourth dimensionally through 12 dimensions and all of a sudden, you're on an antipsychotic because the, the synthetic, it can't be organic. If it's organic, it won't work. You know, that's probably because, you know, there's a special thing about things being organic that have different aspects and uh, they are part of nature. A dematerializer is in part of nature, it's completely industrial. Or our CNS receptor panel. They also have, they, they had uh, anti-gravity shuttles, have you heard of those? Yeah, um, they use polarized magnets for those. And they use a cloaking device so you can't see them. So they could be just floating in, the, in space. And I'm not talking like that far out. But like, you know, have you ever seen UFO videos uh, where um, they uh, have a camera out and you can kind of like see these white or black dots floating? Well, you know, those might be uh, UFOs, um, but they could just be UFOs or, or ships, anti-gravitational ships that uh, are on base and they just decided to bring them up to trick everybody into filming them you know because they have them uh, under cloak and they kind of some of them look like a triangle some of them a circle and uh, they haven't shown I mean maybe right before time has to end the apocalypse of time when 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 God has to determine you know what he's gonna do with his reality because there's people or things that you know 
have radicalized or extremely idealized uh, what, um, you know, life can or can't do. So, um, I guess if you want to, if you want to believe that there's an end to everything, you might want to learn something so you can, you know, organically create yourself into things. Uh, and um, I guess they also have, you know, the moon landing, you know, the moon landing that wasn't actually real. Yeah, I'm not kidding. They staged a room where they put down a bunch of sand, right? And then they used a spotlight and a fan to get the flag to, to look like it's flowing. You know, and I didn't, when I first saw that, I was like, well, maybe that happened, like, whatever, right? But uh, if some of you probably get pissed off when you realize it was actually true, right? That the real moon, where is it? You know, what ha What? It, well, they were cloaking the, the, the moon. They were cloaking it. They have cloaking devices. They can make, uh, they can make cloaking devices. Got to cross the street. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like, well, how is that possible? Well, they have technology for that. It's big technology, too. I'm, and you, you might even be able to see it if you go check it out. Check it out. It's, uh, it's that reserve, army reserve, um... Navy, uh, Marine Force. You've seen it. It's a huge field. Well, that's where they do all their, you know, spying and plotting and demoralizing everybody so that nobody thinks about, you know, these things. I mean, if I was really that stupid... I would probably like to hear what the reason was. And I think part of the reason is they think they can get away with these acts of treason and mutiny and all these all these things like, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, everybody will just agree eventually. Like, the more they do it, the more problematic it seems right because you just keep lying and lying and eventually it builds up so much that it just like it explodes on itself like how much lying that was and so um I I did take stimulants like I took Adderall Modafinil Stratera I've tried those stimulants too. Uh, I, there's a few of them uh, out there. Uh, and that kind of like increased my ability to play guitar. Because there was no way I was going to play guitar on Haldol. When I was taking Haldol, that was like impossible. I couldn't even move my fingers. So it doesn't make sense. It's just another one of these plots against humanity you know and uh so now with the coronavirus well you know that's a synthesized formula serum that they implemented all over the world through a dematerializer like i said what that was you heard me yeah they're just dematerializing it majority of the time they might get away with putting it in one of the products of a store but how would they do that they probably do it at the factory because there's no 
the coronavirus is a made up virus by the by the federal branches you don't believe me well part of the reason you don't believe me is because you never realized that there were all these people that live around us but they don't have anything to do with society they have to do with order and when they gave the order to make up a coronavirus for the population I don't think anybody in their mind thinks oh yeah that's a smart idea let's do that let's all just get sick you know or just like and you know if you have the coronavirus you know how to you can you can fight it off you know you have to use herbal supplements you know found in nature there's a there's tons of herbal supplements like tons and they all do different things in the body some are poisonous like these poisonous plants if you take them you might die but those aren't the ones that you can find in the store you can look up like mushroom tea White tea, green tea, black tea, red tea, echinacea, ginkgo biloba. There's uh, picogenol. All these shrubs, like, there are these flowers. It's really a bunch of flowers you can take that helps quantumize your cardiovascular system. Uh, there's shilajit. There's chamomile. Uh, there's just so many of them. Uh, Hawthornberry, Schisandra, Ashwagandha, Rhodiola, Sea Buckthorn, Oat Straw, Pau Diarco, Cinnamon, Garlic. I mean, even stuff you use to cook with. It's Those are herbal supplements. They have, some of those have benefits, benefits to your, to your body. You just never heard that because in order to cure a coronavirus you have to take herbal supplements that's how you can fight off cancer too that's how you fight off cancer you you have to just keep taking uh, herbal supplements or you know oil like coconut oil if you need to put that in your if you have skin cancer you can fight it off you know or stomach cancer you might need something for your ulcer there's a uh, herb for that you know so I finally, I'm making it down to the river here. I've covered pretty much a lot of stuff. Um, uh, I was working at Ikea, uh, but, um, you know, since I don't have spinal fluid because of this receptor panel, I uh, don't know what I should do. I mean, if I just have to push carts, that's okay, but Alright I'm gonna head on into the river now I might See you guys later, bye Okay, so I'm at the river It's uh, behind these Trees Can't really see the water Maybe I'll find a spot to sit down Or something, but uh, I had a few Couple last things to say Um you know, we lost part of the core of our planet, which I thought was ridiculous that they didn't disclose any information on the planet's core. Uh, and there's three lava balls, right? There are three red lava balls. And they're in a triangle shape in the core of the Earth. And we only have one. And the reason is they bagged up a bunch of artificial aesthetic uh, designer drugs, like those bath salts that people took, uh, and uh, synthetic marijuana, and other ones like that. So they bagged them up in a huge bag, and they took an anti-grav shuttle, and they went up to the hole to the other vertical zone, because there's eight of them, so that'd be... There's one below us, so that's vertical zone number three. They shot, a slingshot at all those drugs in the back through the hole. And then the guy 
that the people that are that created that zone the which they're kind of like us but they have um uh like a couple extra functions like maybe two um uh reproductive organs um three ventricles in the brain but um you know the aliens on um the other planets around us because they those ones they have green three green lava balls or blue lava balls um and then there's there was purple lava balls but that was the remember the part i was telling you about lucifer taking part of the vertial zone to create hell he took the purple lava balls um so you get a good picture of the water but yeah then um the aliens extra trails got pretty disappointed and mad and uh they came over to our planet and they took their module their, they have a module that uses black crystals. You remember those black crystals I was telling you about? They is, those are big, two big looking crystals on a shuttle, anti-grav shuttle. And then they uh, took the moon, uh, also known as the goon. They took that and moved it farther away from our planet. And that's what caused two of the core molecules to die out and it'd get it it would exploded exploded out of volcanoes and it caused a huge earthquake in a few different places and you know tsunami waves i mean it was drastic and like okay so are you gonna tell anybody that you screwed up big time on that and we're not gonna say anything we're just gonna shrug it act like nothing happened and millions of lives are going to be affected and we're not going to care. And everybody, I mean, if you can picture in your head what a Grand Tide Grav Shuttle module with dark crystals looks like. The crystal, dark crystals are in the front and then it kind of moves the tracks along into the back. And then there's a sun, there's a sun module too. Uh, but if you take the sun, you only lose one core molecule. If you take the moon, you lose two core molecules. If, we, if they would have taken the sun, we all would have died. We all would have turned into vampires and zombies and killed each other off. Uh, but after that happened, they decided, okay, with the few black crystals they do have, because they had a few, they, they took enough to wrap around a mini moons. They took like uh, six or seven mini moons and they wrapped them around the sun. So they're just like these mini ones. But obviously you can't see those because they're, they're in, invisibly uh, there. And uh, you kind of have to imagine many moons around the planet. Because um, that stuff's being hidden, kept secret. And I am very fond of you know those when they even Roswell when they discovered that stuff I I'm not sure how the how they why they came over to our planet that time maybe they were lost or something but they used a frequency generator to blow up to to stop their ship so they could develop that technology because we hadn't developed that yet but yeah uh, so after losing the core, after losing two core molecules, the red lava, there's three. There was three. Uh, they come in, they're like triangle lava balls. Just repeating myself again, but you should see. And then in the sun, if you've got, uh, if you stare at the sun long enough, yeah, you'll kind of go blind, but inside the sun, there's five photon orbs that rotate it's really interesting they they rotate inside some people even i've even in my study on uh 
magical reality realms of uh, existence. Some people have thought even that there was a spiritual core ent, an entity at the core of the earth that also lives there uh, along with the three la red lava balls. Um, and uh, I thought, well, how is that possible? Well, you kind of have to step out of bounds and think, well, what's really, what, be consciously aware. It, you are in the third dimension. This is, I'm filming you, but this is the second dimension. In the first dimension, nobody understands, yet we are all part of it. Uh, and if, you know, if technically time began with a zero or a nullified uh, trajectory, like spinning off into a conceptualized input or inventory or imaginative, immaculately conceiving some kind of reason, you know, that somehow uh, it, you know, took its form and its nature and it was all decided what was going to happen for the years and years that reality has been around for, which is so many I can't fathomly tell you. But um, it's so much that I was like in awe of it and I didn't know, like, was I sent here to do this or that? Like, what free will has given me? Should I, do I use it? Am I, or am I getting this right or wrong stuff? Stuff that religion takes up, but uh, religion is very well understood in our uh, society and in others. We got all different types of religions. Everybody gets something to say or feel good about something that ha that that has to do with the higher powers that are out there. Um, nice view. Just gonna walk in at the river. But, um, yeah, uh, so scientifically, people aren't putting their sense, two cents in, because maybe people want to know, but they don't know how to, like, ask the questions or uh, say things on their mind that are reasonable, because some people might act weird if they realize this stuff but if you let it soak you let it uh you know uh, just sit in and think about one thing that really matters to you um you got it right i mean everyone has something to contribute and there's a lot of reasons to uh, conceive as n whoa <laughs> almost fell uh but uh, um yeah uh you know the last thing that really is worrying me is uh that my family has kind of thought and turned and shaped and formed their lives into making everything elusive. You know, like, why are they saying, like, there's no such thing as that, or there's no, that's not true. None of that is real. You're just making it up in your head. And I thought, you know what? Even if I had the evidence to support what I'm saying, how many of the people in power would just say oh that's not evidence that's just made up and that's what pisses me off because if you don't want to believe eventually that what you have knowledgeably thought of for years and years and haven't told 
anybody that lives in society it's just it looks stupidly evil in after people realize about you know other things that go on in the fourth dimension right fourth dimensional thoughts are different a little bit than third dimension because there's other things you can do so I'm just my family I almost cry because I'm so I'm so sad that they they don't seem like my real family anymore you know like they're just there like robots like cyborgs like cyberkinetic energy has just been elusive in my rights to have fluid and and the right to have a family because you have a right in this world if you know what's good and what's bad you should be able to learn this and um, realize conclude and uh, begin to realize how to realize <laughs> uh, but yeah I guess I'm kind of in a crisis there's two types of crises see like uh, you can um, essentially you could live in a world where nobody knew who you were but you would have to probably be a person because a bunny rabbit like oh yeah who remembers bunny rabbit number 34 uh, sector 3 of St. Paul on the west side yeah well nobody remembers that bunny rabbit so did that bunny rabbit have a crisis? No. That bunny rabbit thought that in order for me to think like you, I have to do something extreme. Something maybe like laughable. Ha 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 ha. What if a bunny could laugh? How come it doesn't laugh? I mean, you know, why do all these creatures on earth act this way you know and they all seem to understand what they are supposed to do based off of instinct it's really interesting but you know if you if a person acts you know like uh, they're in a crisis do they if, if, if they pretended to die and then nobody knew they existed anymore except they did they just live somewhere else now so nobody knows where they live right well are you gonna like that maybe you maybe you might like it if nobody knew who you were for the rest of your life because you pretended to die well that's totally something you gotta understand if you still want to feel that way years later maybe I don't know but that's that's existential crisis number six or or one so six can be one or potentially something before that but uh, I wouldn't I'm just gonna go with crisis number 12 being the other kind so that you understand there's a difference between six and twelve even though you can divide you know by in half but if you have a crisis of 12 like many people born in these days they have issues um, where they believe in the truth of, of reality and yet nobody seems to understand any reason for it sometimes or Maybe the logistics behind it, or the um, the uh, purpose. What is the purpose of twelve? I don't know. It just is the purpose. But um, even after you 
enter into a crisis, you can kind of get yourself out of it. But in my case, you know, the best thing for me to do is just believe and then just believe. Because if I'm just going to act like nothing is the belief, um, what happens is you start to realize all these other things because then you, you look at a you look at time and you say okay well you you look at time and you see number eight okay let's look at number eight so that's the symbol for infinity right if you turn it sideways well I once I start thinking about the number eight I mean it's like well does this stuff go on forever then like you know after the vertical zone and stuff like that like I just can't comprehend like it because I'm just maybe it's just how the way I was born that I only understand certain numbers more than other people some people are just born that way you know I, it's just you have to understand part of life can't help it other parts can but to lose the planet's core and only have one core molecule and not tell the world that you have to be kind of like crazy in your head thinking that like that's not something that people should bother knowing so yeah uh, I'm pretty much almost at the monument uh, but I don't know guess I'll just step back in one last time alright so I'm walking back home river was nice nice really nice day out really. hopefully we get the rain to come in from the uh, the weather machine they uh, have these dis distic, uh antennas and they can create uh, thunderstorms uh, and rain it's got a really big battery that probably charges itself it charges wirelessly so they don't ever have to like worry about it getting charged but it's a really big antenna and it, it, you can make a pretty big radius of rain uh, come through so hopefully they'll make it rain I want them to make it rain because we need water Every, everything needs water so hopefully they'll make it rain not all of the uh, uh, people at work for special access programs or those other ones like the underground uh, black projects um, NSA FBI CIA FDA FCC uh, I'm gonna make this light I get a little workout uh, but some of them really understand this issue and have felt about it for years upon thousands of years people have argued you know who who's right about these kind of things and who uh, who's totally screwing it up they that we kind of see both spectrums but like the stuff in the middle where you don't really know like if I work in special access program do I get to do something special and therefore you know create a bias 
that oh I, I get to know more than you because you know I have access to these um, materials and you know drugs though they also probably talk about you know sports like society does I mean they they are some of them a lot of them are normal people they all do the same things we do I guess some of them because they live underground a lot of them like they they get stuck in a place where you don't like really think like spherical you think more quad qu quadrilateral and I think the government's supposed to be more about spheres than um, like matrix I think if I'm sh I might I mean it depends a little bit on the reality you're in but matrix uh, have to do more with societies and then spheres or circles have more of a orderly ca uh, chaos uh, content where we have to get everything organized and done in a well done manner so you know the um, the officials right now that work uh, in the Trump agency I think they don't want to be there they they actually they don't I feel like they don't really want to work for the government because those people they don't get to do all that um, you know like evolution number seven where you get um, like huge biceps and huge muscles uh, with um, with herbal supplements you get and you get really ripped ah but I that because they when you see a politician on camera all they want to do is argue what's politically correct but the people that don't work as politicians they don't even bother with that because they already get most of the reasons for a lot of existence in our society or uh, our state the people that work in the state and see some of them don't really know what's going on because they're given all the money they want but they have to like keep everything a secret but they can do whatever they can want to do and so it's not they don't they don't really bother with um, you know telling people the truth then the people the special access groups those are the ones that some of them have issues because it's kind of like post-traumatic stress uh, because they kind of they're so used to doing things against you know part of the belief system that I think they get strange uh, dr dreams or they 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 act uh, mean towards others instead of understanding you know uh, the level of intellect that a lot of people had that didn't work for the government because there's a lot of people I know uh, that I don't know they could be um, wondering the same thing as to what is the Trump administration lying to us for still and I think some you know some of those polit uh, politicians they're not even real people like they don't they they're like fake they're like puppets I mean they're just being told what to do by the people underground you know 
they're just being told that. And then, okay, so just say this, say that. As long as nobody really bothers to think. But I know, like, some of them have good intentions. It's just I think they don't want to learn the lesson. They just want the answers. And if you don't come up with the lesson if you just know the answers you might have just cheated you know if i take a test and i know all the answers but i didn't learn a thing it's like well where how do you know then well i cheated and i just decided i would like feel like i could hack into part of life and take all the things that i want because seriously if everyone donated like one dollar to charity one freaking dollar not two not 50 cents if everyone did that a lot of homeless shelters would realize that this is a communal part of life you know we we have to come together uh, to do these things and um, I just am hoping that some uh, some government uh, officials and underground, you know, FBI, they, they they're using fake names, you know, because they have to work undercover. So how am I supposed to know your real name? I want to know your name. I want to know what you'd like to do, too. I want to know what kind of endeavors you've gone to or places you've been but seems like they don't they don't share that with anybody unless like I don't know everyone's drinking and some people from the FBI show up that but they don't they're not gonna say they work for the FBI maybe they will if they're really they might say like yeah I, I'm not I'm not at at case of disclosure, I, I don't disclose by real name, you know, and then, I don't know, it's, that's kind of where the CIA, FBI, uh, NSA, they kind of um, stop making sense because they, they haven't um, learned how to be honest, you know, so yeah, I think there needs to be more communication eventually so that uh, people are on the same page. Uh, I know a lot of people in society, some of them uh, didn't, uh, some of them joined the army. Like, I think it's kind of messed up that like, you just have to propagate a war by uh, getting enough people to believe that uh, you have to fight to, I don't know, to like feel like you're in power. But then the people in power, they just let the pawns do all the dirty work. So, I mean, some people in society that uh, work for the local government, like the police. Uh, the police officers don't really know this kind of thing. They, they're they taught, you know, a reason to arrest or a purpose to give placements. But I think people are getting the cops mixed up with the federal government. They have those um, confused because no one's ever heard or really listened to uh, those kind of agent agencies. The cops uh, are are just doing their job, but the people get in the society get pissed off and they don't know who to blame. So they're they're going after the police and they they get their phones out and. 
like, oh, uh, tell me your badge number. You know, I'm not at liberty, or I plead the fifth, you know, strange, they, like, the people come up with, like, so many different, okay, hang on, let me get my smokes out real quick. You know, like, <laughs> uh, hang on, uh, give me a second. And then, like, like, I have to, like, I have to, like, ask my friend on my phone. They'll, so, they'll just keep, like, coming up with excuses. And I've just seen so many of that stuff on live leak. Like, there's so many accidents that happen. But if you just believe in the good, the good, like, purpose, I, I know shit happens, accidents happen, but what you want to do is just believe there's, like, a purpose where everything gets to come together towards a day when reality has to eventually um, become one again. Yeah, it's kind of like something that every reality has thought, but maybe there's, there's people that just, I don't know, it's, it's so much to know, but, um, yeah, if you believe that uh, you can fight off each other in all these sickening ways, why do you even step out of your side of the house to smell the fresh air and the flowers? I mean, look at how beautiful of a day it is, right? So there's still something to look forward to. You know, it's not over yet. Uh, with a lot of things to be put into place, I, I've i had accidents, shit happens, you know? So after this stuff is like taken into place, I wonder if some people might realize something after you've heard me say some of this stuff because, you know, I'm kind of in a crisis and I have to, uh, I have to get, raise awareness because there's a difference between disorder and, uh, what's the other one? Disability and disorder. I mean, you know, that's something, don't confuse that. So if I am dealing with some crisis, you have to understand that it could be disorderly or disabled because you don't you don't get to just uh you don't you don't get the right someone's taking your rights i don't have spinal fluid you know um and a frequency generator's on so nobody can really understand my conscious level you know nobody really consciously aware consciousness is absolutely the one of the most important things and hopefully some of you realize that you know we're we're just kind of not okay to take away people's rights to this kind of of belief system for the benefit of your own few because you believe in you know uh you know non-existent type of reality like if i just say oh yeah well um there's i'm just gonna say there's no such thing as that but then secretly i believe to myself that there is what so what it's pretty hypocritical you know um try to um think about uh if i lived in society and i had this problem you know you can leave me a comment or something asshole maybe i would just like get drunk every day but i don't want to do that or maybe i would just 
go out and exercise. Yeah, I, I can exercise, but I don't have spinal fluid for that. Um, and uh, I don't know, I can't really communicate with my family very well. I'm not sure about their existence. There's a lot of reasonable doubt, but I guess I'm back at home now. So hopefully y'all learned about how to kind of cope with this kind of stuff. Because I know a lot of people really hate what's going on. Well, have a good day, guys. Bye.